We're here with Mary Kay Carlson, who's running for County Board, District 5. How are you doing, Mary Kay? Fine. Well, uh, let's get to know you. I don't think very many people know who Mary Kay is, so uh, tell me about uh, where you've lived and where you've worked and uh, what we're going to do. Okay. I've lived in Mercer County all my life. I was born in the first Mercer County Hospital. I've lived in Alito. I went to Alito High School. I attended Blackhawk College. And I was employed 30 plus years as a county employee through the Mercer County Hospital as a transcriptionist and coder. And currently now that I'm down at uh, OSL Healthcare System in Monmouth as an ICD-10 coder. Okay, so uh, 30 plus years with the, with the county, huh? That's uh, impressive. Um, so you're pretty familiar with how the county board works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, what's your opinion of uh, the relationship between the county board and say the employees, since you were an employee for 30 years, what has been your feeling about this relationship? Okay, from when I was a county employee, I feel that the board uh, leaves the employees on deaf ear. They'll come to them and they, they won't uh, talk to them to hear their side of the story. So there's a lot of friction between yeah, the two a lot groups. Of friction. And uh, explain to me your thoughts of the process as the hospital is being closed down or being sold. What was it? Was it something that left a bad taste in the mouths of the employees, or did it go pretty smoothly? Well, it it didn't go as smoothly as everybody expected because. The employees cared for that hospital because it was the local Mercer County Hospital, and we cared for the patients. We weren't just another number. We cared for it because it was our neighbor's dad, our neighbor's mother, and we generally knew the people, and it was generally one-on-one, -on -one and we, we just cared about it. Yeah, I, mean, that, that, I think that's lost a lot of people as to, even though we still have a hospital in Alito, it's no longer a community hospital. No, it's a, now a corporate hospital, mm -hmm. and so corporate decisions are being made. Now, in fact, we just found out uh, a month or two ago that Genesis is, is suing to get money back as a rebate based upon a state law that uh, now the board has to scramble to try and find the money for. Uh, so I'm not sure that would have happened if we had had our own community hospital going. Uh, yeah. um, a lot of the people that have worked there had to reapply for their jobs and a lot of the local nurses are not there anymore. They've gone elsewhere from the treatment that they have had. Wow. And the nurse, do you, how, what, what, are you familiar at all with the nursing home and how that, or, or that tied together somehow? Not a lot about the nursing home. All I know is that when Fred Earnhardt had the nursing home, it was, we were a five-star nursing home and uh -huh. everybody in Illinois, the state of Illinois, uh, I heard about it. And I guess the decision for getting rid of them was financial. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that that was a wise move financially to do that? In your opinion, I mean, obviously you haven't studied the financial that closely, but mm -hmm. getting a gut feeling since you're going to be on the board and you're going to be running against these uh, issues, mm -hmm. because like I said, Genesis is suing the county for money to come back. Do you think it was a, a good move? Well. The county was, the nursing home was losing money, but I think that the, if the board would have looked at different aspects, there would have been a way they could have turned it around and got an administrator to run that hospital because it's not 100% uh, full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And getting, I don't know, getting Genesis into Alito, I guess, is nice to have that name in the town, but when you lose the soul, of the community, mm -hmm. uh, you, you're back to weighing what's important financially versus what's important to community pride. Now, keeping that theme in mind, uh, I understand uh, according to one of the, the pamphlet you have going out, is that you're looking for this county to become more prosperous. Yes. Um, it, it, again, we're getting back to financial versus, versus, versus uh, community feeling, but that's one where they both go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, do you have um, any strong feelings about that aspect? 
Are you are you are you generally uh, hoping to develop some kind of way to get businesses in without losing the soul of the county? It would be nice to yes, because then we would have jobs here for the people where they wouldn't have to travel. Like now, I have to travel to Monmouth for my job, and I worked 30 years here at the hospital, and it's it's nice where you don't have to do the traveling. Yeah, I, I, I drive an hour and 10 minutes to my job, and it's because of health care is the reason why. Yeah, I, because why. I, I taught at Westmore for 14 years, and now it's been 15 years at, at Riverdale, and I'd be willing to bet that the amount of money that I paid in my 15 years at Riverdale as far as insurance is equal to two years of Westmore. And that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of hard to keep good employees when that happens. So. Yeah, I, I, I would like to see something done with it. I think that's a really admirable goal you have there. Uh, do you have any, any other ideas about uh, what you'd like to change as a board member? I just want to uh, listen to some things. I don't know all the aspects of what goes on at the board, but I want to be able to participate and make the positive changes that this county could have. You know, being a former employee gives you a special perspective. Uh, one that I don't think any of the other, I, I'm not that familiar with the other board members and, and their relationship with um, working in the county, but I would suspect 30 years of employee um, history with the county system will give you a much stronger perspective than the other candidates would have. Yes, and the IMRF that the county first, uh, re IMRF retirement that we got from the old hospital, it was a good retirement. And of course, then when we went to Genesis, the very few that were left had to let the, four, the IMRF go and had to start a 401k. They wouldn't apply it to their old when they just had two or three years left. And now they hold their breath when they, every time they see the news and the Dow Jones yeah. and the Amex and all that. Yeah. Well, um, this, uh, this, I think, makes you a very strong candidate. And uh, we're going to be uh, putting another interview together. Uh, okay. Uh, next month, we're going to talk about issues They're a little more specific than what, but this has been a wonderful uh, presentation that we got to know you and find out just how qualified you really are. So, thank you very much for coming in and talking with us, Mary Kay. This is Mary Kay Carlson running for Mercer County Board, District 5. Thank you.